Hello friends, today we will take an overview of the decanter design aspects. The decanter as a process also vessel but basically used in the liquid liquid separation. Separation of the liquid mixtures, either the immiscible liquids or the partial immiscible liquid is a common requirement in the process industries. For example, in the solvent extraction, the mixing as a contacting step is followed by the settling as of extract and the raffinate phase, uh, which is accomplished by the simplest form of equipment called as a decanter. Uh, decanter is used to separate the liquid mixtures based on the sufficient difference in the density of the liquids uh, as a continuous phase and the dispersed phase. There are the two phases uh, in the decanter, one is the continuous phase and the dispersed phase. It may, it may not be necessary that the dispersed phase or the uh, continuous phase as a heavy liquid or the light liquids. There are the three distinct bands or the zones are formed in the decanters. Here one is the clear heavy liquid at the bottom, clear light liquid at the top and in between there, there is the dispersion band as an interface. The design of the decanter uh, is particularly useful, useful for the uh, continuous operation but may be uh, applied for the batch wise operation. The decanter provides the sufficient residence time for the droplet of the dispersed phase to settle down uh, across the interface uh, or rise upward across the interface. It depends upon the dispersed phase whether it is a light phase or the heavy phase. Dispersed phase if the, it is light in, light in density then it moves upward against the continuous phase and if the, if the dispersed phase is heavy then the droplets of the dispersed phase will settle down across the interface. The interface or the dispersion band, the height of the dispersion band is about 10% of the total height of the decanter. The decanter may be uh, placed as a vertical decanter or horizontal decanter. The important thing that if the flow rate of the field so given to this decanter is less then the vertical decanter is, suf is sufficient and if the, if the flow rate of the feed is more then the horizontal decanter is used. If feed is given across this interface then the, the high, here the light liquid is taken off from the uh, other side whereas from the siphon the heavy liquid is taken off. The height of the heavy liquid, I have taken a, a heavy liquid takeoff is determined based on the pressure difference. The, it is the, the height of, the combined height of the clear, clear light liquid and the heavy liquid is balanced by the height of the heavy liquid in the, in the takeoff siphon. It is written in the form of equation where if we have the Z1 is the height of the light liquid takeoff. J3 is the height of this is the um, height of the height of the uh, interface from the data and J2 is the height of the heavy liquid takeoff. If you want if you want to determine the height of the heavy liquid takeoff, then J2 here we, we write this in the form of equation balance equation pressure balance equation where J1 minus J3 rho 1 G stands for the total pressure for the light liquid light liquid that is difference between J1 and J3 plus J3 is the is the pressure for the heavy liquid which is balanced by the the total height of the heavy liquid in the in the so subsequently we can determine the height of the heavy liquid from the data line okay next if the it is the design aspect volume in the design aspects of the decanter the Total, we have we how to determine the volume of the required or hold up or that is volume in terms of hold up, hold up of the liquid or the hold up of the liquid mixture in the decanter uh, is determined based on their based on their velocity, velocity of the continuous phase, velocity of the continuous phase should be less than the velocity velocity of the droplets or uh, droplet of the dispersed phase. It is written in this form. There should be less than the velocity setting so that the droplet of the settling the droplets of the dispersed phase should get the sufficient time to settle across the interface. And it is written by the, the, the velocity of the continuous.
vacuum space is nothing but the ratio of the volumetric flow rate of the continuous space divided by the area of the interface. This area of the interface is common in case of the vertical decanter whereas it varies depend upon the location of the interface in the horizontal uh, in horizontal uh, decanter. If we in this case, if we have we re re write here the area of interface A i is equal to pi r square, where r is the radius of the uh, decanter diameter. Uh, decanter. Generally, the gen in general, the 10 percent the height is provided for the interface so that the sufficient time for the uh, for the uh, droplets of the dispersed space to settle down within the 5 to 10 minutes. In this case, the area of the interface pi r square. Then the it, here we use the Stokes equation to determine the droplet size of the particle as well as uh, used to find out further process for further parameters. Here the Stokes equation to deter, determine the dispersed velocity, dispersed or the settling velocity of the dispersed phase is our the, dis, or the dispersed velocity is equal to is written as the uh, dd square into g into rho d mi, uh, minus rho c upon 18 u c whereas dd is the diameter of the droplet which should be taken which is taken as 150 micron by 150 micrometer which is sufficient uh, smallest size taken in this design aspects uh, so that the velocity we should get it appropriate for the determination of the uh, other parameters. Here if we have the, uh, if you consider the, uh, the interface, the interface can be located in such a way that with the help of the some instruments or without instruments such that it should not come below these, below the, uh, uh, should not come to the bottom or should not go up to the top for the sufficient separation, so for the getting the providing the sufficient time to settle down and the residence time to settle down the settle down the droplets of the or rise upward from the droplet size. If this settling velocity of the droplet part that settling velocity of droplet particles of uh, uh, droplet particle of the dispersed phase will be getting the negative sign if it rise upward and a positive sign if it settle down. Further, if we have the vertical horizontal type of decanter, then the area of the interface or the width of the interface can be determined. It varies depending upon the location of this location of the interface. If we say that Z is the height of the interface from the bottom of this horizontal decanter and if W is the width and 2R is the diameter of the thin, the width of the interface can be determined by using this equation where the 2 into uh, 2 into bracket 2 rj minus j square raised to 1 half where r is the radius of the uh, horizontal decanter j is the height of the interface from the bottom thank you thank you